What we're going to do today in this video is show you how you can maximize the proceeds of the sale of any house by following 10 simple steps of what not to do. How easy is that? Just don't do these things and you're going to get more money for your house. And don't forget to stay to the end of the video where we have two items that you can have fixed at your house absolutely free. Now, most of the time, you don't need to do anything with the roof. But if you suspect there's anything wrong with the roof, have it certified by a licensed roofer. And then you can show that to the buyer. And then you've, you're, you're clear. You've got the li licensed certification that the roof is good. Because any buyer is going to discount the cost. And they always overestimate. They're like, oh, new roof, that's like 50000 right? It's not going to be that much. But that's what buyers do. The psychology is they have to offer less and if there's anything wrong with the roof like it's leaking or there's cracked tiles then, then you have a little bit of an issue you definitely want to fix those and never try to sell a house with a leaky roof there's a house right here across the street with a green tarp on its roof so this house has uh, two tarps on the roof there's one in the front in front of the window there they probably leak and then they have another they have a green one right here Another thing you don't want to do is have any incomplete projects when you're trying to sell a house, like this house behind me. Because the buyers, they just see the incomplete projects and say, oh man, not only do I have to pay for this house, but I have to complete all these projects that aren't done yet. So don't do that. And don't start any projects when you're trying to sell a house either. It's, it's gonna prevent you from getting the most you can. You don't want to give buyers a reason not to buy your house. There's already enough of those. Maybe the house is on a hill, or maybe the school's not that great. Stuff you have no control of. But you have full control of whether you start projects or not. This house behind me has a different color garage door than the paint on the rest of the house. And it's something that if you were selling, I'd recommend that you paint the garage door to match the trim on the rest of the house. That'll help maximize the proceeds from the sale. Another thing you don't need to do is replace your windows. These two homes behind me, that one that's kind of peach color has brand new windows. Yet this one right behind me does not not a big difference. If you spend the ten, twenty thousand dollars to replace all your windows, you're definitely wasting your money. So it doesn't make that big of a difference to, to buyers. I have yet, after twenty two years in real estate, have a buyer say, I don't want that house because the windows are old. One thing you definitely want to do is have your windows clean. So I can't tell you how important it is to have clean windows. I was uh, showing a client a house and we thought all the seals were bad in these uh, windows in this particular house that we we're considering an offer on because we thought we're gonna have to replace all the windows because the seals are all bad. Now it turned out that all the windows were just dirty. The seals weren't actually bad. They all operated nicely. So, as we were really interested, we, if you're selling, definitely clean all your windows really well. And if, uh, if you don't wanna clean them, I've got a great window cleaner. Now, normally, you don't wanna paint the outside of the house, the exterior, you're not gonna get nearly what it costs back in return on the sale. But in this case, if you have exposed wood on the outside of your house and it looks like this, then you're gonna wanna do it because it's gonna, you know, everything depends on condition. And it's... Now 
Now, if your kitchen looks anything like this one, not upgraded, tile countertops, builder-grade cabinets, don't bother upgrading it because you're not gonna get your money back. Kitchens and baths are very expensive. And, you know, people have different tastes. People are gonna want different things in their kitchen. So even if you do upgrade it, maybe you don't upgrade it to the taste of the buyer that you find. So this kitchen's fine. Now let's go take a look at the bath. Now the same rules apply in the bath. You know, kitchens and baths are expensive. This one's got a jacuzzi tub in it, but uh, you're not gonna receive the full value back for the upgrades that you make in the bath either. So again, don't bother. You're um, not gonna get all the money back in the uh, proceeds from the sale, so why do it? Another thing is the floor. Now, if the floor is in decent condition, like this floor, there's no point in replacing it. Again, the floor is really dependent upon the tastes of the buyer. And if, if it's adequate and it's not damaged, it's in decent condition that shows nice, don't bother replacing it because you're not going to get your money back. Now if the HVAC system, like this one right here, is in decent condition. Don't bother replacing it, just as long as it works. Now, if you've been using it and it's questionable whether it works or not, you wanna have an HVAC technician take a look at it, give you a certification that it's working, then you give that to the buyer's agent and you're clear. So, if it looks anything like this one, you're probably fine. Here are two fixes that are not going to cost you any money as a homeowner to make the house show better. Now the mailbox is one. Just talk to the HOA, have the uh, rusty mailbox replaced and instantly your house is going to show better. This house does show really nice, has new windows, but the gas meter is all rusty. Just call the gas company, they'll come out, they'll spray paint it and it will look brand new. So that's another fix that you can do to increase the value of your house and not pay anything for. Hi, it's Grant. Hey, thanks for coming to my channel. For our latest updates, tap the subscribe button below. Thanks very much.